Hey everyone. So, like they do every year, Lamy came out with a couple of special editions for their safari line. A lot of people though feel like this year's strawberry and cream colors would have done better if they actually mixed up the strawberries and the cream. Instead what we got is strawberry pen and cream pen. Thought it might be fun to swap around some of the accents, so that's what I'll be doing today. Um, don't try this at home unless you don't mind destroying some pens. Put those there for safekeeping. You know, they're, they're not, they're not the cheapest of pens. They usually go for 30, 40 bucks MSRP, I believe, but they're also not the most expensive. So if you watch this video and think you can do the same, as long as you don't mind losing that pen, it's not such a horrible thing to do. So we've removed our cartridges. We've removed our cardboard rings. We're already one step ahead of the Moon Knight production team, getting those cardboard rings out of there. The next thing to do, we're actually gonna go back a step. There is this little ring. It's interesting, on the Safari, it's on the grip section. On the um, All-Star, I believe it's actually sits on the barrel. But this little ring, you see right there, it just pops right off. So that can be our very first step. See, Got our section swap there. And you screw on the barrel, make sure it lines up. I did not, I've got it backwards, so I'll undo it. You basically just want to feel the threads hop since these barrels are double threaded. There we go. All right, so quick and easy. The pen is done. The cap is what's going to take most of the work here. But we've got one pen done. We can leave it uncapped since we didn't actually ink it. And now... Second pen, almost done. We just gotta line it up. Nope. It's like USB, you never get it right. There we go. Of course, USB-C eliminated that. There we are. Two pens done, look at those. Don't those already look better? Let's pop them up here so they're out of our way. And now for the caps, we're going to be swapping the top and the clip. I can show you an example of where I've done this. This is actually another strawberry and a graphite. So it's absolutely doable. Um, you lose out on some suction, not suction, but um, vacuum, whatever you want to call it from the inner cap when you do this, because you're inevitably stretching it to push out the top of the cap. You know, this one right here, you see, I don't know if you're hearing that, but that that's actually is working pretty well. This one lost a bit, but it's all in the name of fun. So let's grab an implement here to push them out. Overdo it because, like I said, you don't want to stretch things out. So, we're 
these. It's just a matter of trying a couple different things. I don't think this is going to be sturdy enough. Nope. This actually might be too thick. Yes. Let's go back to our chopstick. Ideally, I would have one a tiny, tiny bit slimmer. But you also don't want too pointy because you don't want it to be damaging things in there. There we go. Oof. There we go. Sometimes it's about angles. a little too through but we are where we are so we've got our little tops off the next step is actually to get the inner cap out let's use something a little smaller to finesse it there we go and with the inner cap out the clip now comes out just fine So we've got our cream clip coming out. Just trying not to scratch the finish, but there's nothing holding it there. And let's get our red inner cap out. There we go. And our red clip. Okay. Now, rearranging where things are. Take our cream clip. And introduce it right there. It fits perfectly. Look at that already. All right, we wanna get inner cap back up there. And getting the inner cap to reconnect is not always the easiest. You also wanna make sure that you're lining up top of the cap properly should be an X with the two bottom ends pointing to the uh, clip. All right. Yep. Inner cap just fell out. So... Thing that's safe to try in there is the pen itself, especially when you don't have anything other than the inner cap, and there we go. All right. Oops. That slipped. Everything's good. Okay. So we've got the pen in there, and let's get the top of the pen and press that in there. That is one down, one to go. So again, we start with the clip. Clip before inner cap. The inner cap should fit inside of the clip arms and actually prevent you from taking the uh, clip off. Use the pen to finesse up the inner cap. And we line up our top there. And press it in. And there we are. Yeah, not quite as strong a uh, cap seal. And we, honestly, what we'll want to do is practice it a few more times in and out. But we went from two 
pans, a strawberry pan and a cream pan to two pans that are very much strawberries and cream. What do you think?